Also new tonight, a crime with a massive canvas, if you will. Taggers going to town on a 53-story high-rise in downtown L.A. that was never finished. NBC4's Robert Kovacic joins us with more on that and what authorities intend to do about it. Robert. Authorities, Colleen, we are hearing from a bunch of them late tonight. We are hearing from Mayor Bass, from Council Member Kevin DeLeon, from the LAPD, who we're not hearing from those responsible. They're actually standing here in the parking lot behind me. We're not going to show them, but they are happy for you to see what they have been up to. And as you are looking at this tonight, Eddie, can you see that right up there on the floor? You see them at work right now. What you are looking at, keep this in mind, so many others will be seeing this as well because downtown Los Angeles is taking center stage this week for the music industry's biggest night. We watched as one climbed through a hole in a fence. Apparently with little concern, they were trespassing. We spoke with one with paint on her pants who told us she was not causing vandalism but creating art. And tonight, News Chopper 4 caught them at work on their canvas, a 53-story skyscraper. From the ground, this witness calls it a crime of opportunity. To let it just sit there for years, I don't think that's right. Unfinished since 2019, Oceanwide Plaza was reportedly billed as a downtown renaissance jewel, complete with condos, a five-star hotel, a mall, and the largest LED sign on the West Coast. But the billion-dollar baby has been abandoned for five years and now a soaring symbol of urban blight. Between yesterday and today, there's probably like another like 20 floors that have been done, that have been blasted. So they're going at a pretty fast rate. Duran Burgundy lives next door, sharing video with NBC4 of the LAPD making their presence known. And on social media, the LAPD has posted, today, Central Division personnel met with the property management and CD14 representatives to collaborate on better securing the property and adding additional security measures. The measures will be implemented immediately and the graffiti will be removed. To do that is going to take a lot of turpentine, as these graffiti artists are now tagging in. There's people could even coming from out of state and coming here to, to, to do artwork. All right, you are watching them at work. Our photographer, Eddie Calderon, zooming in. Colleen, I would guess about this is close to being the eighth or ninth floor of Oceanwide Plaza. And while they are working up there, I am counting about a dozen here in the parking lot. Now, as you look at this right now, we'll let you know that Mayor Bass's office sending NBC4 a statement minutes ago saying that they are working to address the issue. But, and I'm quoting here, the city cannot immediately clean the graffiti because of legal constraints relating to private property. Kevin DeLeon's office also saying that they are working with city departments and the LAPD regarding this nuisance property, as they call it, and they promise to be announcing a city response in the coming days with the goal for the city council to take decisive action. But as Eddie points the camera down here, let us just show you the proximity to Crypto.com Arena and LA Live that will soon be hosting the red carpet and the Grammy Awards on Sunday. Live tonight here in downtown Los Angeles, I'm Robert Kovacic. Colleen, we'll have more on this tomorrow throughout the day.